curious about uh, getting accurate uh, calculations for ABV. Uh, it seems like with the same uh, original and final gravity numbers, um, the, the formula that I use in my spreadsheet is a little bit different from the result I get from using, you know, how to brew as a, as a guide, which is a little bit different from online calculators. So I was wondering if you could kind of tell us what the key points are in, in getting an accurate ABV reading. So there's actually several different equations you can use to estimate the ABV. And most of these are fairly simple ones. Some, something, some variation of that. That's actually a little bit of a simplification. And you know, there's a more accurate calculation, which I think, I think the standards of the ASBC, you know, uh, was it ASBC, is the American Society of Brewing mm -hmm. Brewing Brewing Brewing. Um, they, they publish a formula that's based actually on the original extract and the, and the real extract in Plato. That's a little more involved to calculate. Um, and that's actually what the Beersmith software uses. But, you, know, you get slightly different numbers because one is an approximation. Yeah. You, it, the reason it's an approximation part of it is because um, different yeast strains will uh, metabolize the nutrients, uh, namely the sugars, in the word differently and produce different amounts of alcohol and other byproducts uh, as a result. So, what we're doing is saying, okay, this much sugar has been consumed on average. This portion of that goes to make alcohol, and that's that's you know, that's one reason that you'll see some variance in the various calculations. They're they're the models. Yeah, and, and it's very important about the fact that they're models. You have to remember that a lot of times a lot of the equations that we use, they are all relatively accurate within a, a narrow band of you know situations. You know, and a lot of it's all built around water brewing from the nineteen fifties. Figure. Yeah, and so the more that you're pushing outside of the realm of things, and the more that you're going, hey, I'm back to your head or something like that, the more the equations get skewed away and away from reality. Right. Good point. Good point. Thank you.